this is what I believe and I'm willing to die for it. Greatness is not this uh, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, God-like feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. Believe in yourself even when no one else does. Life is not a parabolic curve, doesn't go straight up. A lot of lumps, a lot of bumps, a lot of throttling up, a lot of throttling down. I have never yet met a successful person that hasn't had to overcome either a little or a lot of adversity in his or her life. How often in your life, in your life have you lived in the cheap seats? Watching the game, not in it. Many of you, as I have been, as I am, are where you are in your life based upon what you believe. And it's not just what you think you believe on the surface, it's also your shadow beliefs that are holding you back from moving into the life that you believe you deserve. Beliefs are what make the difference between a lifetime of joyous contribution and one of misery and devastation. Beliefs are what separate a Mother Teresa from a Charles Manson. Beliefs are what cause some individuals to become heroes while others lead lives of quiet desperation. See, the power of beliefs is virtually unlimited. Our beliefs can literally create or destroy. Beliefs are not merely matters of emotion or action. They can literally change our bodies in a matter of moments. So what exactly is a belief? This thing that's so powerful. Basically, it's simply a feeling of certainty about what something means. It's a feeling that's supported by what we call references, by life experiences that hold that belief up. Think of an idea as a tabletop with no legs. There's nothing to support it, it's not solid. It becomes a belief the day you put legs underneath that tabletop. Now it's supported, now it's solid, now you feel certain. And all personal breakthroughs we must remember begin with a change in our beliefs. When your desires are different from your beliefs, you will always manifest what you believe. When a seed is planted in the ground, all you can do is water it. You cannot control the sunshine, you cannot control the weather, and you cannot control whether the locusts will come and try and destroy it. All you can do is plant your seed in the ground, water it, and believe. The most important thing Self-confidence. Without that skill, and I use the word skill intentionally, without that skill, we are useless. Because when you lose sight or belief in yourself, we're done for. I use the definition of self-confidence to be the ability or the belief to believe in yourself to, to accomplish any task, no matter the odds, no matter the difficulty, no matter the adversity. The belief that you can accomplish it self-confidence. So it begins here and it ends here. This is what the process of success and growth is all about. It has to be rooted in belief. You need to believe, truly believe. And the development of a stronger belief system is a process. It doesn't just explode overnight, right? If my goal is to make it to the other side of the room, the belief is a long way away. And I can't make it in one step, true? Right, but I can take one step. And here's what that step allowed me to do, to believe in one more. Well, beliefs is what do you believe in? You believe that you must ultimately achieve this goal unswervingly, and that belief creates your reality because you begin to see the whole world differently. The law of expectations, you confidently expect that everything that happens is part of a plan to help bring you towards your goal. The law of attraction, what do you attract? You attract people, ideas, and circumstances into your life to uh, help you to achieve your most important goal. And so all you need to do to raise your self-confidence, your self-esteem, and your level of attainment high is to have an absolutely crystal clear goal and work on it every single day. You have to reprogram your mind. You have to condition your mind to get yourself to believe that, hey, it's just a matter of time, baby. I'm gonna hit that mark. 
and anybody can do that. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You can't see it, you can't touch it, you don't know that it's real, it's only real in your mind, but in your mind you feel it with your imagination, you know it can happen. Impossible is nothing. What do you, how do you hang in there during the hard, difficult times, Les? You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas, unquestionably. You've got to have faith, and that faith gives you patience. That is not going to happen as quickly as you want it to happen. A lot of things are going to happen that will catch you off guard. And so therefore, you've got to deal with and handle it as it comes. But that faith and patience drives you into action. You've got to keep moving and keep plugging away. Believe. 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 Impossible is nothing.